Hey yo, before this video starts, thank you so much for the support on the last upload, it's really been overwhelming. 500 views, really mind-blowing, I truly appreciate every single person that clicked on that video, so welcome to everyone new that just discovered this channel. Hi, I'm Watermelon and I try to upload decent videos even though I'm currently still working on better editing for you guys. If you happen to enjoy my work, feel free to press the red button down below. I'm grateful for every sub and yeah, enough talk, let's move on to the actual video. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a brand new upload on the Modular channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and in this video we're going to take a look at possibly the worst father on the entirety of Twitch. Who am I talking about? Well the past days a certain streamer has been going viral for a clip but unfortunately that clip gained so much attention entirely for the wrong reasons. It has become so bad that this guy even deleted all of his social media. His Twitter was wiped out of existence and on Twitch he remained all all of his past twitch wards to I am sorry one two three four five six so at this point you're thinking what could this man have possibly done to get hated off the internet so much well whatever you are imagining right now it's probably worse than that this twitch streamer is actually a father to a small child and he decided to go live with his baby sitting on his lap and when you look at the tweet with the clip that blew up you can see it has over 400,000 views that's a shit ton especially coming from Nicholas the Oreos Twitter and by the caption you perhaps might be able to somewhat guess what's gonna happen here but let's actually roll the video God damn it! Jeez, okay, I'm not an expert on babies. I ain't a parent yet, because I'm still in high school, you know. But even I am aware that a baby needs to be treated with immense care. Now, from my past experience, babies usually either sleep or scream to the annoyance of other people. So, the first thing to not do to a baby is scream back at them. Actually, in the clip, it wasn't even back at them. He just literally started screaming at the baby, even though his baby was just chilling on his lap, not even causing him any trouble at all. If you're going to act terribly towards your children, first of all, you should have used protection, and secondly, don't fucking record yourself. He's getting immense, justified backlash right now, and it's entirely his own fault. But the clip gets even worse the farther we go. $300 fucking controller! So whenever a gamer sucks at whatever they are playing, the first instinct is always to blame your own mistakes on one's controller. That's like almost a universally proven rule. Even though the controller is in perfect working condition 90% of that time. But this guy actually decided to smash his controller that he apparently spent 300 bucks on. But it still doesn't work good enough for him. Yeah, I highly doubt it's the controller's fault. Showing all of this unnecessary aggression in front of your child is clearly very responsible. I'm glad that parenting Twitch streamers can set such a good example for us. L like come on, this is obviously just some NFL sports game, but if you already know, there is a chance of you raging at that game beforehand, which is already dumb. But I if you would, just be a little bit aware of the fact that there is just a tiny possibility that you might lose your temper while playing, then don't play with your child on your lap. Like that's basic common knowledge. The fact that this clip even exists hurts my brain. I mean, we obviously don't have complete context on this, but given the severity of this asshole mistreating his child, I don't believe there is a single context in which these actions could ever be remotely acceptable or justified. Yo, can I fucking press pause? Just sit right here. Stop. I gotta go, yo. I'm about to fucking lose it, yo. So now he puts the baby on the couch because in his mind the kid was stopping him from playing at peak performance. I really know you can get frustrated with games but this has gone clearly too far. Some gamers are way too passionate about their stuff so much in fact that their rage will negatively affect other people that didn't even do anything wrong as seen here. If that kid was actually preventing him from playing decently then again why start a gaming stream with your child on your lap? playing a game that you, let's be real, can't even play for shit. His stupidity and him acting abusively towards his child enrages me so much, man. This is actually just very repulsive behavior, to be honest. Now, you might think the video ends here, but no, we aren't finished yet. It gets even worse. This following part is the absolute worst part of the clip. 
SHUT THE FUCK UP! Wow, you really are an actual piece of shit, aren't you? This is the exact reason I have next to no sympathy at all for this streamer. He entirely deserves all the backlash he gets for this on all platforms. Except for like the obviously dumb people that send death threats or something. I find it insulting that his Twitch even still exists. I know he renamed all of his previous streams and all that, but considering Twitch's rather strict enforcement of their guidelines normally, his channel should have been wiped off their site immediately. There are no second chances or excuses for this kind of behavior on stream. Child abuse has absolutely no place on Twitch. I would even prefer to watch an Amaranth or Pokemon 12 hour cringe fest over this scumbag streams. Now I think him getting banned permanently is definitely the route Twitch needs to take here. He's already showing signs of regretting his behavior at least, I mean, you can kind of see it in the Twitch bio, but to truly get the message across to him and to hammer it into his brain that he can never repeat this again, Twitch needs to ban him. That way he suffers real consequences and loses a source of income, which probably would make him think about this even more and it would be more likely that he never does such things to his child again. Just overall, I really don't get how you could get so aggressive in a video game. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a video game. Even if you lose your elo or something, it really doesn't affect you in real life. So when your rage in return affects other people that did nothing wrong in real life, I think you need to take a look in the mirror and rethink your life choices. So yeah, people raging at video games to such a high degree, definitely something I will never be able to fully understand. But at the end of the day, he is still human. Although he definitely needs counseling for poor parenting, still, please don't do things like sending him death threats. I don't think threatening the man would help the situation in any shape or form. Regardless, I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Should he be permanently banned, like I suggested in this video, or do you have an entirely different outlook at the situation? Definitely let me know. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe and yeah, have a great rest of your day.